So Peter Sabota is our next guest. And get this. So we're going to have a conversation with him. Let's just bring him on. I'll, I'll talk to him as, as we're talking. Here goes. Hello, Peter. How you doing? Hey, guys. What's up? I'm doing very good. How are you? Great. Great to talk to you again, man. Uh, we appreciate your time here. You're on with Georgia Goes on the MMA Junkie Radio Show. Congrats on your win this past Sunday. Thank you very much. It's good to be here. Yeah, so Peter, you know, we used to talk to you back when you, you know, you had your first run with the UFC. Then you went out, got some wins, and now you're back and you're four and one. But look, I'm gonna, I'm gonna confess something to you. Two things. You may actually hang up the phone in about thirty seconds. One, I took Saunders in my parlay. All right. Two. So congrats. I don't mind. I don't mind eating crow, and I don't mind being wrong. So I, you, you got me. You definitely had a game plan. You put it together, and then you finished them. Man, that's a great, great win for you. But here's the thing, Peter. I think I'm still hanging on. To your first stint in the UFC, in the uh, UFC, and this this next one is impressive because it's four and one. You've won two in a row. Slowly, you've been an assassin at four and one. So you you got to get back out to North America. You know what I mean on these pay per views, and 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 uh, I, I get off to Europe. I mean I know you're loving Europe, but am I wrong there? You know I would be happy to go to Vegas for a big fight, but uh, for me it was also always great to fight in Europe. You know, um, the shows I'm coming, I came up. They were in Germany and Poland, and they were pretty small shows. So compared to this, like the UFC in Europe is, is huge, you know. Mm-hmm. I've never been to a big event in Vegas, so that would be a step up for me. And, yeah, why not? I mean, I have the home advantage when I fight here. You know, right. the, the, the people here, they know me. They are cheering for me. So this is also really great. And especially in Germany or in Poland, when you fight there, and even if you're on the preliminary card, it's a full house and everybody is, is cheering for you. So... That's always a great experience, but I mean, my ultimate goal is to get up, to, to, to come to the top, you know. So sooner or later, I have to go to the States to make, to make my fights over there. I also went through your Twitter recently, and I know that you have, uh, your hand is frank- fractured multiple times, so it could be that we may not see you in, in 2017. But can you update us on that? Because when I went to click, the, the original post on Facebook was gone. What can you tell us about your hand injury and the complicated surgery? Oh. Yeah, my hand is really bad, like really, really bad for me. It's a little bit difficult to explain it in English, like all the, you know, the medical words. But uh-huh. it's broken and uh, on it's broken four times. So it's many bones. There is also like a splitting inside the, like inside the hand. So it's a pretty, pretty bad thing. And I will have a Friday, uh, the surgery on Friday by one of the best doctors in our country. So my management took care of it and I will have a, really good doctor taking care of it but they will have to take part of my bones from my hips to replace it in the hand so it's a really really serious injury and Damn. it will unfortunately take me out for for a few months peter oh, yeah this is the bad part of it peter there were four separate breaks in that hand did they all happen from one strike or or were there multiple ones do you remember exactly when it happened I don't remember exactly, but um, I remember that I felt the pain in the second round. So I believe it was at the beginning of the second round where it happened the first time. And, you know, I kept uh, hitting with the left straight, like four or five really, really hard punches to his head. And I think that made it even worse. But, you know, during the fight, you don't feel it. I felt that I have pain in my hand, but it was not, it was not super bad. So I continued. But right after I was celebrating on the cage, you know, when all the adrenaline went down, I felt really, really bad pain, and it's still, it's still pretty bad. Like the first few hours after the fight, they were horrible, but now it's, it's, it's okay. You know, I can sleep, I can live with that, but I'm really looking forward for the, for the surgery on Friday because right now my arm looks really, really bad. 